Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. So I've been following an issue users have had since AMD's Ryzen 3000 series shipped. With that said, I'm going to go through a timeline of events to more or less paint a picture of the whole scenario. For those who don't know what I'm even talking about, after 3rd gen Ryzen shipped to customers, many new owners began claiming they weren't able to get the boost clocks advertised by AMD. At first, it seemed a new BIOS update was to blame, since users saw lower clocks after updating to the new Agisa code, and the clocks even seemed to return when going back to the older BIOS. We even saw Zeus discuss it as a problem, though even then there were issues with breaching advertised clocks. Unfortunately, an Asus rep ended up claiming that AMD intentionally lowered clocks in the new update to extend the life of the chips, basically choosing longevity over clock speed. So yeah, the older update isn't exactly good for your chip's lifespan. To top it off, AMD clearly knew there was an issue because they updated the boost description on Ryzen 3000 specs page at AMD.com. It now has a pop-up that says that the boost clock is the maximum single core frequency the processor is capable of operating under nominal conditions. The problem is that they failed to explain what nominal conditions even means. Oddly enough, while I was working on this, it seems they actually removed it now. Why? Even more recently, a survey from Der Bauer came out, and the results are pretty bad for AMD. In it, he asked participants to run a single core Cinebench benchmark, and the results are pretty horrible. While nearly half of the 3600 users got expected boost clocks, only 9.4% of 3600 X owners were able to hit 4.4 GHz or better. And it gets worse as we move up with only 5.6% of 3900 X users getting their expected clock speed. Now obviously users can lie, and this is only based on 2700 entries, but it still doesn't paint a great picture. And I would have already updated everyone on this, but like I said in my last video, I was on a cruise and the internet was so slow, I actually had to upload it on my phone in a restaurant I found with free Wi-Fi. So yeah, I may not have done much, but it wasn't for lack of trying. Either way, we finally have an official update from AMD. They published it on the official Ryzen Twitter page, and it starts out with how happy they are about 3rd gen Ryzen sales. Then goes on to say, quote, while processor boost frequency is dependent on many variables, including workload, system design, and cooling solution, we have closely reviewed the feedback from our customers and have identified an issue in our firmware that reduces boost frequency in some situations. We are in the process of preparing a BIOS update for our motherboard partners that addresses that issue and includes additional boost frequency optimizations. We will provide an update on September 10th to the community regarding the availability of the BIOS. Okay. So I think it's pretty clear, AMD claims to have found an issue in the firmware, and we definitely know that there's clock speed issues with the current BIOS. The problem is that if the claim by the ASUS rep is right, AMD knew about it because they did it on purpose. If that's the case, the fear then becomes whether we should worry about longevity. I don't know. Obviously AMD wouldn't want a ton of CPUs dying while still under warranty, but who knows if it would make enough of a difference to actually kill the CPU before the warranties end. Basically, we mostly have anecdotal evidence, but there's clearly a lot of it. If AMD is lying about the issue they found with it being intentional, they need to come clean. It's not okay to claim a certain clock speed, then lower it later because it gets too hot while at that clock. Really, the irony of this ends up being true is that just like many users have said, even at lower clocks, Ryzen 3000 is fantastic. There wasn't a need to be deceitful like it seems AMD may have been. With that said, there really could be something wrong with the BIOS, so we'll have to wait and see what happens before saying anything concrete. Of course, make sure to subscribe to GamerMeld so you can find out what happens on the 10th. So while that does it for today, what do you think of today's story? Was it deceitful of AMD or is it just some fluke in the BIOS? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.